That is a beautiful sight. It is snowing, my friends, my wonderful friends here. Here in this winter wonderland here. Well, I say winter. For me, this is winter wonderland. I guess that's debatable. We are on a major, on a busy major road. Our avenue, Steeles Avenue West. I'm walking west on Steeles Avenue West here. I'm right on the border. I'm actually, technically, I'm actually technically in Thornhill because because I am on the north side of Steeles. I am technically in Thornhill. I am in Thornhill. This is the border, the northmost border of Toronto. Figured I'd get some nice 4K HDR footage. Maybe I'll be quiet for a bit so they can hear the snow as I'm walking. The tickle toad. It is super early on a Sunday morning, 6, 10 a.m. January 29th. Now this is pretty snow. I know when we had the winter storm this past Wednesday. Any of my fine viewers were concerned about, concerned about me. It got really, really intense at times, but this is just, so comfortable right now one gentleman asked me aren't i aren't you cold but i'm like i'm i'm good doesn't even feel like uh to me it feels like minus maybe minus two right now My awesome, awesome friends, my wonderful friends. You all have such big hearts. And uh, just figured I'd just sneak in a selfie there. But much love and respect to you all. I almost feel like firing up, firing up alive right now. I don't think... Uh, the Tickle Toad. I like that name. Pub and Grill. Cold beer sold here. Get your drink on. Don't get your drink on. Tickle Toad here. I, I figured I'd show you here. Maybe in an area that isn't shown too much. I am technically in Thornhill. If I cross the street... If I cross Steeles Avenue over there, becomes Toronto. Some people still call it North York. I was going to, well, the plan is, I was like, if I, depending on where the snow is, that's where I'm going to. Um, there's an H Mart there. It's a Korean grocery store. Depending on what, but as you can see, hardly any traffic at all. Party. People got their party on Saturday night or doing their thing, staying up late. Many don't. Many don't have to work. Just sleep in on Sunday. There's the Timmy's. Wonder if I should just. Uh, Actually, I don't really have to go in. I could just, uh, right there, you can see everything that's here. And that looks cool. Right now, you're only gonna see, the bu only buses you're gonna see right now 
our TTC, the TTC, the 353 Seals Night Bus. And uh, you can see how much snow there is. Uh, when the winter storm hit this past Wednesday on the 25th, probably four days ago, uh, North, North Toronto and North of Toronto got hit with more snow. Dr. Zoltan Rona, complimentary and integrative medicine. It's so relaxing, it's not falling down beautifully. It's not falling in. But that fire hydrant on the right seems to have uh, not covered in snow, not much. Man, this is so relaxing. Uh, I want to go more further into Thornhill because stretches of Thornhill have beautiful ginormous trees and it'll look amazing with the snow you can see and another time I'd go further and show you all the business but I think this is more I w the point of this video is to show all the snow but uh, there are certain parts of Thornhill where it's not uh, very well lit so I don't know how good uh, there's the Toronto Police. I don't know how good. Well, first of all, from a safety standpoint, even though, you know, I don't even want to say safety. Thornhill, I always feel extremely safe. I've even walked in Thornhill one time. It was like middle of the night. Like that's how safe. I mean, bad stuff can happen every anywhere, obviously. But even middle of the night, I felt safe just walking by myself. We got all the snow. Walking here on Steeles Avenue West, and because I'm on the north side of Steeles, I'm technically in in uh, York Region, in a city called Thornhill. So York Region, York Region consists of different cities such as Thornhill, uh, Woodbridge. Woodbridge would be to the west of here, west of Thornhill. Uh, to the north of Thornhill, you have Richmond Hill, a uh, new market. Uh, to the east of Thornhill, you'd have Markham. And uh, somewhere in between uh, Richmond Hill and New Market, there's a King City and Aurora. Oh, and there's also, I don't want to miss, I apologize if I do miss any, there's a uh, there's the Kleinberg. Kleinberg. There's quite a few resident, quite a few folk, uh, people who've, uh, who used to live in Woodbridge, now have, and now prefer Kleinberg. Kleinberg is beautiful. It is absolutely, it almost feels like exclusive. Kleinberg, uh, I'd love to do, I'd love to do a walk an exploration of there some time, but maybe I should build some, it'd be good to build some rapport, some goodwill, uh, maybe at a local coffee shop there before. That'd give me extra confidence to, if I'm actually gonna film in Kleinberg. This is so relaxing when the snow falls so, so peacefully like this. But at the same time, we're getting such a good, nice, 
nice, very nice dusting of snow. You gotta love it. Looks like a, looks like the, oof, looks like the south, south side of Steels. It's more, it's well lit. I may have to cross over if, oh, we'll see how it goes here. I may want to cross over. That's the one thing if you're walking around, especially if you're by yourself, if you're, if you're flying solo, always take safety precautions. There's a Sunrise Senior Living, Thornhill. Always take precautions. Oh, try to walk where it's well lit. Yeah, I may, I may sound like I'm contradicting what I'm doing, but you know, it's actually not, it's not that because there's all kinds of lighting on the other side. So it's not like it's dimly, it's not that dark here on this side. And uh, hopefully this, Hopefully this snow continues, these flurries. It's a great great sight to see. Look at the TTC bus rolling by. At this early morning hour, on a Sunday morning, the subways are not even open. Our subways here don't open till eight, eight o'clock AM. They don't even open. So if you want to get, for example, downtown, you have to take a 320, you can take the 320 night, young night bus. That's what most people do, but you know, it's also the, um, there's also 307 Bathurst night bus. So you can still uh, get downtown if you need to. Let's see if I could get a cool, just crouch a little bit. I'm just waiting anyway for the car to go, okay. Definitely want to document this though. I've always wanted to do exploration, you know, on steels and sort of like uh, steels and bathers. I mentioned Thornhill. And if it keeps snowing nice like this, actually, you know what, now that I'm I'm almost at Steels and Bathers. Maybe I might as well uh, go to Thornhill too. Do a video of Thornhill. I almost feel like firing up a live stream. I don't know, there's uh, many of my fine, fr wonderful friends still sleeping now. But then again, there's uh, many of my wonderful, wonder many of your wonderful fr friends that are awake and then are watching us from Europe and Asia and uh, pretty much all over the world, even South America, uh, Africa, all over the world is great. I don't mind to keep walking on this uh, on this side, as long as the quality holds up. And such a relief to see, I was ranting in one of my videos about how ever since I upt updated to iOS 16.3 release candidate, release candidate RC, re release candidate for the uh, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Uh, in years past, they used to use uh, the term golden master because I have a beta developer beta account. So I felt confident it was a release candidate. So I felt con this is pretty much the final version that will be released to the public may have already been uh, may have already be released already to the public but I was complaining about the horizontal black lines I saw when recording video and that was a I was like oh boy that gave me so much anxiety I was like that's gonna be a big big problem if this persists thank goodness it didn't I don't know how uh, Maybe, uh, maybe I, maybe I jumped the gun a bit, saying that it was a software bug. I certainly hope there's nothing wrong with my phone. I mean, if it could still very well have been a software bug, but I don't know. If it was software bug, uh,
I assume it would have still the problem would still kept happening. So maybe that was just a weird that was just a weird glitch on my phone because I know my phone has received a lot of a lot of uh, le uh, water a lot of liquid going into the iPhone like inside the iPhone I'm sure with all these snowstorms and pouring rain Oh, that's a 307 Bathurst night bus. And I'm probably going to end up splitting up, splitting up these videos. So once I hit Bathurst, I'll probably start a new video because if I make just one long, one long video, a couple of things, first of all, you know, really hardly anybody, you know, hardly anyone uh, watches, a, you know, the full length of the video. There may be, you know, one or two super awesome people that will uh, watch entirety, but it's very, you know, obviously it's not easy when we all like to watch each other's uh, YouTube videos. Even me, I'm so behind. I'm, I feel like I'm a little bit behind. So I wanna get caught up on my favorite channels. But I do like, I do enjoy watching those long videos on, on other, uh, including my wonderful friends here. I do enjoy so much because so much to see, especially if the video is well done. Uh, my case is a little different. So far, uh, uh, so far, even my 4K HDR videos, still not getting that many eyeballs in terms of uh, new viewers. So, but I'm so thankful that you, my current wonderful, amazing viewers, and I can't. You know, and I'm gonna keep saying it, I'll keep repeating it. All you all are awesome. And you all supporting me, liking my videos. I know it's not possible to watch, uh, cause I do put out a lot, even even if they may be uh, a little bit on the shorter side, I do put a lot of them out there. So I can't expect, <laughs> it's be almost impossible to keep up. But I know, especially some of you really try your best and comments, leave amazing comments. Uh, So that's why I'm just gonna, if I made, or for me, if I made, because I like to, if I make a long video, it's gonna take a long time to upload. Sometimes I wanna get certain videos, like if I, like for example, for me walking until Bathurst, I think that would be good. So by that time it'll be uh, around 18 minutes, another couple more minutes. That'll be uh, pretty ideal. I'd be able to have the option. I'd like to have, and also if I, instead of making one long video, make like, I can make like at least three, three uh, moderately sized videos. And then I can decide from there which, which video I want to release in which order too. And these, they'll upload much faster that way. And plus, for the most part, the vast majority of uh, YouTube viewers uh, view, you know, maybe a few minutes of a video. You know, obviously there's not enough time to watch. It's pretty hard to watch everyone's, uh, that's pretty much uh, the, the, the facts, statistical facts. For the most part, YouTube viewers in general watch a few minutes of a video. So. And especially with the U now with YouTube Shorts and YouTube Shorts is gets a lot, a lot of eyeballs. It's a great way to get a lot of eyeballs in your channel. Just put a good short out there. 
and I'll be doing maybe some a video on tips on how to increase maybe views on your shorts because by and large YouTube viewers like to especially if they're new to your channel and you you know it's one thing if uh, you already know each other and that's that's amazing you get that support but if it's a new viewer what they're gonna see is a thumbnail the thumbnail is so important so I'll be doing it on uh, YouTube shorts unfortunately you cannot uh, even though even though you can change the thumbnail technically but it doesn't it's not reality I've tried it so many times it, it's not uh, it doesn't work properly so here we are steels and bathers corner of steels and bathers right now i think i'm gonna do another video walking north there's a ginormous uh, steels and bathers plaza but i think i'm gonna walk north now we'll explore the plaza another time or maybe I, that would make it interesting if i actually showed around actually <laughs> 